I'm Aiden Matthews. And I'm Zack Snyder. And welcome back to another YouTube podcast, the one-stop shop for anything and everything related to YouTube. The show where Aiden gets to do the intro again. It's kind of for like, real, for real. For real. Actually and, doing and, the intro. And he didn't call himself Borat this time, which is I even did not. Better. The Borat saga has unfortunately come to an end. Um, Yay to see it. I did pitch to you a 25 days of Borat marathon <laughs> that did not go over well. And unfortunately, that killed all my drive for Borat yeah. humor. Yeah. So. Yeah. And no, I'm not explaining that pitch. You just got. You guys are just gonna have to guess what 25 days of Borat means. So. Surprise! It sounds exactly like, uh, like like, like it sounds. <laughs> Yeah. You hate to see it. Yeah. But anyways, we are back. You know, you two podcasts been rolling, getting the episodes out every Sunday. It's been epic. It's been fun. Yeah, it's been on a roll. Shout out again to everybody that's been watching and listening to the podcast. We got like a solid 200 people tuning in every week. It's insane. God damn. What's going on? <laughs> God damn. Hey, happy. I'll take it. I'll take it. Absolutely. Been doing this podcast for how long? <laughs> it feels like my entire life, honestly. And, and, and if it's, it's just fun. if it's getting people to listen to it, then that's even better. As I far think as I'm so. concerned. Uh, hope y'all been enjoying the couple episodes. Hope y'all enjoyed last episode specifically. Yeah, I was actually kind of worried a little bit with the uh, the subject matter and and like what I said specifically and with everything going on. Uh, that could have gone poorly. And I'm glad that for the most part, actually, hundred uh, percent. Like, I don't think we've gotten any ill word. We didn't get any hate comments. Uh, so. Everybody that I talked to seemed to like it. So we'll see if people come back to listen to this episode. I guess will be the real test. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But hey, I stand by everything I said. Same, same. So I, I guess, I guess it was just a thing where like. Even though I liked what I said and I felt confident at the time, um, I didn't go back to listen to it. And so I had anxiety for about the next week or so. Of like, what if I did say something stupid or or, or, or what if Zach <laughs> hears it and doesn't cut it out and he just leaves it in and not everything like that. And uh, So, yeah, that had me fucked up for a while. But no, I, I listened back to it and it's totally fine. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I cut everything in. So did not did not do any editing out. So, you know. It was clean. Epic. Well, today's episode, we're going back to the Your Week on YouTube, trademark. Our favorite so, segment. You know, our favorite segment, your favorite segment. So let's let's just get started. Aiden, how was your week on YouTube, trademark? Well, uh, pretty interesting, I'd say. Yeah. This week had a new Blue Catch Productions video. Of me and Ethan looking over our old <laughs> flip camera videos that we made, what, at least 10 plus years at this point? Or, yeah. Or even longer, potentially. A blast from the past, to be sure. A lot of cringy moments, a lot of funny moments. I spent pretty much from around midnight to 11 a.m. or so working and editing on that video start to finish. Whole yeah. nine yards. And I'm super happy with how it came out because that video just flows so well. I'm really happy with how that uh that ended up going. And apparently everybody else seemed to like it too because I got to 20 views a lot quicker than most of my other stuff does. Nice. So it definitely yeah. resonated. Got a shit ton of comments. And uh, watching it with you and Jay in call was one of the most fun experiences I've had <laughs> with the video online because I know everything that's coming up and you guys have no idea what you're about to see. And I'm, I'm just giddy with anticipation the entire time. It was a fun video. Definitely, if you haven't checked it out yet, go check it out. It's fun. It gives a, gives a little bit of insight into like Aiden and making older videos before he did YouTube. Yeah. And it's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a treat, to be sure. Well, I mean, we talked about that sort of stuff on the podcast. And yeah, I had mentioned yeah. it before. But there was no like real visual way to see all that because all those videos were locked away to that flip camera and none of them were ever uploaded online. Um, so for, for you all to be able to see that what I was talking about actually did happen and was real and was just as bad as I said. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I meant every word of it. And, and I still stand by the, the message of that video being like, 
look, we all start from somewhere. And no matter how bad you are when you start, if you keep going with it and, and keep improving week to week, you can you can get as good as you want. And those old videos won't even matter anymore. And they'll just be funny to look back on. Um, Absolutely. It takes a lot of self-confidence to, to get to a point where you're happy with yourself that you feel okay showing that shit in the first place. You know? <laughs> Yeah, 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 definitely. Burying it in the ground where it rightfully belongs. <laughs> Being like, nobody can ever see this again. No, I get you. But yeah, I thought that I thought that was great. Um, moving over uh, to lines on your gaming stuff, we got the old Shovel Knight series coming back out. That's right. Uh, yeah. Thankfully, I still had all the recordings and the footage of it because what I what I found is when I'm taking older videos on my channel or Ethan's channel and moving it over to LHG, they always look a little bit worse. Um, and I've tried a yeah. bunch of different methods. I've tried downloading them from YouTube. I've tried the 4k video downloader, uh, as much high quality stuff as I can. And no matter what I do, they're always going to look worse because I'm taking the original uploaded file from YouTube and trying to re upload it. And it's just going to look not as good, uh, unfortunately, but thankfully, with Shovel Knight for whatever reason and I I never do this but like I actually had all the original recordings and all the files that I had the first time um which means that like it'll not only look as good as it did the first time but it also essentially gives me the opportunity to re-edit it like yeah, I yeah, never definitely. edited in the first place so I get like a whole fresh new crack at it um that's dope and for the most part it's been fine I haven't had to change a whole lot but Definitely some of the audio stuff in the later episodes. I'm glad I'm actually fixing properly and some pacing stuff of like shit to cut out because we just keep talking randomly. Um, yeah, it's been proven that if you uh, if you like download a video that you uploaded on YouTube like a bunch of times, like it just continuously gets worse because of like YouTube codecs and compression and all kinds of other shit. I, th- so I think it makes not sense. only not only that, but like. Going back to even looking at the originals, they didn't look great, <laughs> right? Right. Um, you may have exported them in some weird way. There's no yeah, time. Yeah. They, they weren't good to begin with. And so like <laughs> taking half of the quality out of that did not help. Uh, but thankfully with Shovel Knight and even um, the Mario Odyssey Versus, I still have all the footage for that. That's well. dope. So when I eventually get around to putting that to LHG, that'll be a thing as well. Uh, me and Kyle going to record another Shovel Knight series to go out after the old one is done, which will be pretty cool. And then yeah. I still got to get around to editing that, that series that me and Zach did. But given the nature of it, I can't like, I want to do something different with it, but I don't know what. That's uh, fair. Like visually. I don't want to spoil what it is, but okay. uh, I'm trying to figure out different ways to like show it off rather than just having the gameplay on there. Um, and so I'm still trying to figure out a way around that. So that's LHG stuff. Um, Aiden on Anchor, still going strong. Talked about why I didn't like the PS5. Very <laughs> epic. Got a couple of responses from that, which is fun. Uh, and then working on some comedy music stuff that I can't talk about yet. Game Club's eventually coming back, but I haven't sat down and edited any of those. So, oops. <laughs> It'll be there eventually. And... Uh, yeah, I want to finish 30 for 30 as well. I, I've mapped it out. I essentially have like six more episodes left, but yeah. I've been busy with another project uh, that pretty much sums up my whole week on YouTube. I, for the past week, have been working on a documentary. Uh, oh. Yeah. And it's not going to show up on my YouTube, and it's not even going to be a thing that I don't know will be public, but essentially... um. A while back, my mom had asked me to go interview a couple of people for this MyRide program that she was working on. Right, Uh, I remember that. Yeah, so we drove all the way to Chattanooga. I filmed two people, and then I drove all the way back. And then we just didn't hear about the project for a while. Uh, And now, they're like, hey, we're bringing it back up again. We got a whole schedule of people lined up to interview. All you got to do is just go film it. So literally this past week from tuesday to thursday tuesday wednesday thursday like i've been outside filming countless number of old people uh writers drivers experts in the field trying to get enough footage for this documentary to put together uh that they want to show to get funding for the program um and keep it running like it should okay 
yeah, I've been filming a lot of stuff with that. Been going outside, getting B roll for it, trying to figure out how to put it together. I've never, I've never done like a documentary style anything before in my life. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So it's been kind of a cool creative challenge of like learning how to really make interviews look interesting. What B roll is good, and uh, I think later today, me and my mom are gonna like look through all of it and try to cut down and really find the stuff that's that's impactful because the final product's only gonna be about 17, 20 minutes, right, like not right. long. Not long at all, but we have like hours of footage, at least three or four hours at this point, and we're oh, still sure. not done <laughs> filming stuff. Uh, pretty much my whole next week is going to be filming more of this stuff to film the documentary. Um, and so that's been really fun and really interesting. Unfortunately, it has taken a lot of time away from the YouTube specific stuff. Yeah, but that's dope. That'll give you like just like a new it's a new editing challenge and filming challenge and all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. So that's really cool. Thankfully, I'm not having to do the boring parts of scheduling everything and getting people ready. Yeah. I I don't even have to ask the questions. I'm literally just there filming. Oh, yeah. That's dope, then. So I I really get a lot of the say-so and and the filming and the editing and the creative stuff, but I don't have to actually do all the boring parts of documentary work of driving and scheduling and (laughs) waivers. Apparently, this is the first project I've involved with waivers. Where it's like, hey, can you sign this so that if we use this footage, you won't sue? Never had that happen before. But a lot of these expert people, right? You want to be sure that you can use their likeness in a video. So it's important to have. have. Yeah, but that's cool. Documentaries, they seem like a really fun thing to work on. And I've done like miniature projects and shit with it before. But um, yeah, it's all that paperwork and extra shit that I do not want to do. I'd rather it, just like not. film it and edit it yeah. or maybe even just edit it. Like I'd probably be cool with just doing that. Yeah. That's going to be the fun part. I think is putting it all together. Um, but recording, recording has been fun too. It, it's I've gone like all over my, my town and the surrounding towns and went to country clubs and filmed elderly people shopping at Walmart, like whole nine yards. <laughs> we're going, we're going all out. Cause the program is essentially like, um, uh, an elderly version of uber so you have these volunteers that can come pick up the elderly and then you take them to wherever they need to go um because most elderly people don't want to wait for a bus for like 30 do 30 minutes to an hour right bus rides are fairly expensive so the my ride program 25 dollars a year two dollars for each round trip you're done right and you can go anywhere you want it's like having your own personal personal driver to take you wherever you want for groceries pills whatever so it's like it's a really good program and i believe in it a ton and that's really helped like getting people who are also passionate about it and telling stories about it um has been the key because we're trying to get the humanistic stuff too and not just please tell me about the paperwork (laughs) details about the program like that shit's boring yeah for sure i want to get that real experience with it but people People, you know, the, you know, the main thing I learned from doing this is interviewing so many people. When the camera comes on, people turn into robots. Yeah. They'll be normal. They'll be vibing. They'll be this on-camera personality. Minute the camera comes on, arms hunched over, stuck, frozen in limbo, <laughs> not moving your head, robotic tone the entire way. So what I just decided to do was like, okay, well, I know you're going to be interesting when the camera comes off. So when I say, hey, that's a wrap, we're done filming, I don't hit that stop recording button. That's smart. I'm like, you know what? You're going to say some interesting stuff, but you don't need to know you're being filmed. <laughs> so we'll just leave it going for another five to ten minutes just to see if anything else comes up. Yeah, for sure. Because they're robotic otherwise. Like, what do you do in that scenario? You can't tell them to loosen up. They're scared of the camera. Um, I've, like, worked with clients and stuff where, like, I have to edit their videos. They pay me to do that. And it can be very tough, like, getting through some of that footage because it's just not good. Like, they're just not on-camera personalities. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it took me a while to even feel comfortable on camera, so I get it. Like, there are even times now where I record something, I'm like, why why did I say it that way (laughs) particularly? Like, what is wrong with me? Uh, But not, it's for people that, like... It's it's weird. It's weird. It's why, like, when I talk to new YouTubers or something like that, I always say, like, 
just pretend like the camera is another person because that's going to get you to open up a lot more. Yep. Or else, yeah, you're going to be a robot. And even now I'm trying to lean away from like informative reading a Wikipedia page in and then trying to squeeze more and more of that like personality wacky shit. Yeah, Uh, but it's it's just finding a balance, honestly. Um, Definitely. I totally get why people do that, but it makes it a lot easier when they don't know they're being filmed. So, (laughs) (laughs) but yeah, that's essentially been my week on YouTube though. Very fun video project stuff. Uh, Blue catch production things are coming in the works. Uh, even made public two older videos, the, uh, the let's go Pikachu and Eevee trailer analysis and the one of Zach's favorites, the all 807 Pokemon quiz video. (laughs) Okay. Epic. So not only are they both public, but they have brand new thumbnails and shit. Attached I haven't seen that. Well. Okay. So, I haven't advertised it anywhere. But they're up now. Just because I, 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 wa- I watched them back and I'm like, this fits what I do now. There's yeah. no reason to keep this unlisted. So. I stole. Yeah, they're there. Yeah. I want to do that more with my older content that I actually really like. But it's just a matter of like sitting through the 262 videos in the playlist and actually watching it. Yeah, that's always the the rough part. Oh, this Pokemon quiz challenge thumbnail. Go <laughs> yeah. hard. I yeah. love the fuck out of that. You do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The I Pikachu and Eevee trailer went pretty good, too. Yeah. They're both really good. I fucked good. around with both for a solid hour or two. But yeah, that's been my week on YouTube. Been epic. How has your week been, Zach? Well... I put out some videos. Whoa. Yay. Crazy. Finally finished the dumbass best picture nominee 2020 videos. Talked about all of them. Did a ranking at the end. Very happy with that. Um, Gives me the chance to make other content again. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, But that was that was my my big YouTube like centered thing. Uh, that and then I've obviously I've got more videos recorded and I'm like working on editing those I just ended up getting busy again with client work and right. yesterday was my parents anniversary today is Father's Day yep. um, and then like there's been other family stuff that's been happening lately so I'm just like dealing with all that you has been surprisingly busy you know yeah and I wouldn't think it yeah. would be given the month of the year I don't get it I really don't and it's it's almost done again and it's 2020 has like simultaneously been this this void of constant. Wow, we really are like only halfway through the year, and yet every month the end of the month it happens, and I'm like, fuck, where'd the month go? This one's gone to me. This one, this one really like got loose toward the end. <laughs> I don't understand it. Like it's the 21st now. We're recording this today. It's going out. Lol. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. It's I, I started getting like, I had like five videos come out every day in a row and I was able to do it. It's just a matter of like just editing most of that day, um, which is fine. I enjoy editing enough. There's one of the reasons why I make videos, right? Mm-hmm. Um, it's just a matter of getting away from the consuming content thing. Yeah. Which is always, always tough to balance. Uh, I gotta say, like from a from a viewer perspective, a lot of those best picture videos are really fun to watch. Um, Ooh, thanks, bro. I didn't think they'd be, and like yeah. some of them are definitely <laughs> some of them are definitely better than others. Like I really enjoyed the Ford v Ferrari one. Uh, okay. Not because of the movie, but just because of the the like the inside into the sound design and the funny haha car joke and like that. Yeah. Shit. But I think more importantly, the like best picture roundup. I love that format. I really oh, okay. love that format. Epic. Um, and I know you kind of did that before where you just talked about the movies, but like saying the name of them, showing all the categories that they were nominated for and giving a rating at the end really feels like it ties it all together a little bit better to where like if you don't have time to watch all the best picture videos, you can just watch the ranked one and get the same good shit Absolutely. In, a, in a really entertaining way. So that was my favorite of the bunch actually was the final ranking one I thought was really good. I appreciate it. Making that script, it was just, it was literally being like, okay, how can I take everything I said in the individual videos and just turn it into like a good, like paragraph of information? And uh, I think it, I think it worked out, worked out pretty well. I'm happy. I with thought that. it did too. I like the thumbnail too. It was clean. It was yeah, very that's, clean. That's shit epic. 
Um, but I got I got a Crash Bandicoot video coming out next, and then uh, then I'll be talking about the 2019 Scooby Doo movie called <laughs> Scoop or 2020. My bad, came out this year. Oof. Um, along with some other like wild and wild and stuff. Um, and then I've been reading this week. I got back into reading again. Which has been something that I've been trying to like kind of do since like last October. Just something that I've been doing a little on and off. But I, I, I read an entire book in the last week. Oh shit, what was it? And that was pretty cool. Slaughterhouse Five. Hmm. It's a uh, kind of sci-fi anti-war book. By this dude named Kurt Vonnegut who was in World War Two, And he, it's, uh, it's about this guy who like... Uh, He's in World War II, and the uh, the city of Dresden that got bombed um, yeah. in Germany, and um, but also there's kind of like a time trial or time travel elements and like aliens and shit, because it, basically people think the reason that they're in the book is because of like PTSD and stuff. But it's a it's a really cool it's a really cool book. And I'm probably gonna make a yen on it honestly. Okay. That'd be cool. Book review. Uh, book review. I've been wanting to read a lot lately, and like I've been, I got some new books off Amazon, and I got some ideas for some videos related to them. So I think that'd be cool. I always think the issue with like books, I'm sure, are interesting, but I've never quite seen like a piece of media that really captivated me to like read a book. You know? Yeah, yeah. It, it's fortunately there's a movie they made like in the 70s based off of it Mm. so i'm probably gonna watch the movie and then use that as part of the 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 framework of the video yeah that way it's not just like me sitting in front of the camera the entire video um but i also (laughs) randomly one night me and jay started watching this history channel documentary about the united states presidents (laughs) and it's like the seven part 45 minutes a piece documentary we got through it in like three days um but i was i've been thinking about making some more intellectually type content on your everyday nerd where i talk about a book or like one of the United States presidents and I, but I still fashion it in a way where it's, you know, actually entertaining and funny and, you know, has some good moments into it. So, um, mm-hmm. I got, a, I got a biography on your boy, George Washington. Oh shit. So I, I started back in history too. class. Hell yeah. Shit. Wow. Man. So it'll, it'll be, it'll be interesting. We'll see how it turns out. I'll Mainly, fuck on that. Mainly, it'll just be fun to like shit on former U.S. presidents and be like, "Right, they dead. They can't do none." This motherfucker canceled. LOL. Gotti. But yeah, um, that's been the main thing. I've just been like trying to get back out of my out of my comfort zone with just uh, passively doing media because I've I've seen like a hundred and thirty something films this year, which mm-hmm. is insane because it's only June. And the reason I've watched so many films is because they're so easy to just sit there and watch and not think a whole lot. Um, Video games, they take a little bit more of an active presence, but I feel like books are even more so like, fuck, I got to put some work into actually reading these things. Yeah. Um, Yep. Yep. But I've always enjoyed reading, so it's something I've, I've wanted to get back into. If you could find a way to make talking about books interesting, I might actually go out of my way to read them. Because every, like, every book club or, like, book reviewer <laughs> on YouTube, like, I don't want to I don't want to throw out any shade, but it's either, like, I read Onision's book, and this is basically a drama video. And it's like, okay, yeah. well, that's not what I was looking for. Or it's an actual book review, but it's homie sitting in front of the camera for 20 minutes, and it's not visually interesting. It, yeah. Exactly. And it's also, like okay, but why should I read that book? Or if I'm not looking for this particular book review, like how am I even going to find this book review? Right. Um, I've been, I've been looking at a bunch of like book tube is what they call it (laughs) over the last few days and kind of seeing like what people do. And uh, there's some very charismatic individuals, but like you said, like they're just sitting in front of the camera for the entire time and talking about the books. And, 
that's cool if you've read the book. Right. I need I need something visual to captivate me or something. It's you know? Exactly. But I don't know um, how you do that other than like here's footage from the film or let's record me flipping pages. Like <laughs> Yeah. 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 It, it's going to be a challenge for certain books, but I, I a lot of the books that I've been wanting to read for a while anyways are like classic literature and things that people say everybody should read before they die. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to like read those and talk about those first and foremost. And then I've also got like some popular like book to film adaptation stuff. And then I can talk about like, LOL, this movie really bad. Uh, but here's why the book is good. Or maybe the book isn't good. I don't know. Um, but yeah, you, you got to have that visual interest component or it's just not going to work. It's just boring otherwise. Yeah. But that's been really it. Uh, that's been that's been my, my week on YouTube, really. Hot. It's, been it's hot as free. I think so. And thus concludes another epic episode of, of your week on YouTube. Hope you it's a week on YouTube. Hope you got a lot out of that. Uh, next week, it's gonna be really fun. You know what we're doing for the next episode? What are we doing? Channel reviews. I oh shit! Went on Twitter and went, "Hey, we're doing Dang. channel reviews for real, for real, for real, for real, for real. We're doing channel reviews. We're done talking about it. We're actually gonna get it. And uh, I don't know if you checked out the replies." There's we a good got, bit. We got some channels. Uh, I think how we're going to do it, and don't quote me on this, but I think how we're going to do it is we're going to have to cover multiple channels in one video. I assume so, yeah. Because we can't talk about one homie channel for two hours. So No, I wouldn't want to either. We're going to be doing a good <laughs> bit of those in the, in the reply to that tweet first. And then after that, if you guys want to be added to the list or you have any more, leave comments on this video. Um or email us at anotherytpodcast at gmail.com if you want your channel to be reviewed. We're going to go in depth. We're going to go in depth. It's not going to be like, haha, funny channel, okay. Like, we're going to actually give you guys some down to earth advice and, and criticism and pros, cons, all that sort of stuff. And I'm so excited to finally be doing that. Me too. That'll be really epic. So, next be episode fun. will be channel review round one, I guess, or whatever Zach decides to call it. I won't steal the title from him this time. <laughs> I'm going to let him come up Damn. with whatever creative juices he wants. But that'll be hype. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be it'll be fun. Um, got some interesting channels that's already already uh, said something in that, that little thread. Most of them are people in our, like in our uh, Discord and shit. Mm-hmm. So, like, I've seen their channels before. So, it'll be fun to uh, kind of give them a little review. You didn't get Logan, unfortunately. I was no really Logan. hoping Logan would have would have hit us up, but it didn't work out. <laughs> you hate to see it. You really do. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's been pretty much it. If you have any questions, any suggestions, if you want to have your channel reviewed, hit up the comment, hit up the email, another YT podcast at gmail.com. We have yet to get an email <laughs> in that that inbox. So one day. Whoever is the first email, uh, I'm not going to promise you get anything, but uh, we will greatly appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, you could be the first. That's you that's a title worthy, worthy in and of itself. I think so. But Dope. I guess with all that being said, I've been Zach. And I've been Aiden. And thank you for listening to this episode of another YouTube podcast. Bye bye. Bye, bitches. I didn't have to go that hard, I'm sorry.